Hi everyone, it's me again, and <clears throat> so this is part three in the what I did during the summer series. Um, yeah. So um, if you guys want to watch the other two videos, um, I guess I'll link them in the down bar. I'll probably forget, but whatever. So um, I was talking about the orienteering races, which I explained there, and um, the ultra sprint. So the ultra sprint, what it is, is basically usually the orienteering races are like a few kilometers, like usually like three or four kilometers through the forest. But this one is, it's a shorter distance, so it's usually like one kilometer, and it's through the town. So it's really interesting because there's more checkpoints. There's like 15 to 20 sometimes, and um, it's much easier in the town because in the forest, it's really hard because if you get lost, it's really hard to find something to um, grab onto, not grab onto literally, but like, you know, something distinctive that will show you like where you are, you know, on the map because everything just looks the same in the forest. Um, but in the town, you know, you like, if you see like a building that has like a cross on it or it's a church and then you see it on the map and you're obviously like, okay, well, I'm by this church. Although the town we were right, running through, uh, Rajneva, it had six churches. So it was like a small town too. So, um, yeah, like a Jedina, but it's just a small town, I guess. And so I ran that. Um, I didn't do very well. <laughs> um, most people took like 20 minutes or something. I took an hour, but I have... I have a reason because <laughs> um, I lost my puppy C in the first half of like before I found the first control. Uh, puppy C, it, like I explained in the other video, it's the piece of paper that says like what number is which control. Sometimes it's written on the map, but it wasn't written on the map then. And so I had to like go back. I did, it did occur to me to go back to the start and just grab another one because I didn't know what numbers I was looking for, obviously, right? And it didn't occur to me. Um, to go back to the start and to grab another one, so I went back, like, to where I was and tried to look for on the ground, and I found it. I don't know how I found it, but I did. And, um, and then I ran off the map, and I had no idea where I was. I thought I was, like, by this church, because there was a church there, and I thought I was the one by which my checkpoint was supposed to be. And it's funny, because I ran in, and there was, like, some kind of service going through, and I ran in, and I did a stop by the doors, and I looked inside, I'm like, did they put a control, like, a checkpoint in there? But uh, I had the good sense not to go inside, and everyone was looking at me, because I was, like, sweaty, and I had, like, my shorts and, like, a, a big shirt on, which had an M&M on it. Um, not M&M, the wrapper, M&M, like, the candy, like, a blue M&M, it's really... I don't know where it is, but it's really comfy. And um, and I had like my glasses and I was like sweaty. And I'm just like looking around for the controller. Everyone's looking at me like, what the hell? Um, so yeah. And then Yana found me. He's uh, my mom's friend. And he's um, Martin and Lucia's dad. Anyways, and he's like really funny and stuff. And he found me and he showed me where I was. And it turns out I was like at the very edge of the map by this green thing. I don't really know. Uh, it, sh it showed up as like a green dot on the map, but it was like a circle thing with a garden inside or something. And I thought I was like on the other side of the map, so um, it took me like half an hour to find my first control because of that, because of those two things. But the rest I found in like two minutes each. Um, so yeah, that was that was fun. But um, I think like the week before, a lot of people were kind of I don't know because. All those people have been running, like, they run, like, the whole entire year, you know, like, usually every weekend there's a race or something. Um, but, and they're just, you know, it's kind of like, it's not their life, but they de dedicate themselves to it. And I just kind of, I, like, come, like, by once a year, and I run, and I suck, but, um, it doesn't matter, like, if you try, as long as you, it, as long as you come, because sometimes people completely get lost, and they have to send search parties to the forest, it's hilarious. But as long as you, like, come to the finish line, it's fine and people will like congratulate you and stuff and it's just a really great feeling but the first week I hadn't run and I kind of felt like a lot of people were just like you know like I can't explain it but they were just like oh well you didn't even try you know like why are you here and so I was organizing and stuff but yeah so I felt like I had to run and then so after the race I was looking for my mom I couldn't find her because she was looking for me <laughs> and after the race we went back to the internet to like take a shower and like wash up and then I went to dinner with um, Tereska and Tereska and Tereska and like with their families and stuff and then we went back to the camp and um, like my mom and um, the parents that weren't sleeping there some of them were and um, they went back to the internet or gymnasium sorry the dorm or the gymnasium depending on where they were sleeping 
and me and my sister had a tent together. It was like a small tent and everyone else had like a huge tent and it was, I hated going into our tent because we borrowed one because we don't have a tent in Calgary, or in, um, not in Canada, in um, Slovakia. And so we borrowed one like from my cousin or something like that. And it was like, it was like a pretty small tent. Like I didn't have a problem with that. It's just that it was raining so much and it was really hard to go into it because when like the other people like when they were out from the roof or out from their tent they just ran across and ran into their tent which was like you know like big and open and then we had to like bend over we had to open the outside um the outside uh zipper of it then the inside zipper the other inside zipper then we had to take off our shoes <laughs> and we could go inside and by that time you know the rain had gotten down you know my back and kind of completely made my back wet um but um Yes, yeah, so we went to the camp, and then um, me, Tereska, other Tereska, other Tereska, um, Michelle, Tomas, Philippe, Dushan. Um, we stayed up until like one, talking and just you know hanging out by the table, and we played a game called Sardines for like ten minutes. It was really interesting because it was dark, and <laughs> sometimes we tripped over the tents because there was a ton of tents, you know, when it was dark because we didn't use flashlights because that kind of ruins the purpose. Um, you know, you kind of trip over the, like, the wires that, like, connected to the ground or whatever. I did that a few times. And, uh, thank God I had my classes done, though. And then, um, yeah, my sister and, like, Dodo and, uh, Dodo, one of the Tereska's little sisters. And she's, like, nine, I think. I think she's a little sister. She's really nice, though. And Damar, kind of like the younger kids, um, went to sleep at, like, 11 or something. Because we were all exhausted, you know, from running and just from the full day. And then the next day, um, it was the other race, which started, the start was at 9.30. And everyone has, like, a different number. Like, I started on, uh, I think it was, like, I can't even remember. I think I started, like, 26. So that means the 26th minute of one, from when it starts. So it started, the first, zero start was at 9.30, so I started at 9.56. And you have to be there, like at least 10 minutes before you start and then um you know you put in the chip and the, whatever and there's usually, there's usually like three other people who start with you depending on how big the race is and but they're not from your category so they can't like follow each other um <laughs> from like different categories that have the same minute as you and um so i started and that's when the problems began okay so like i said in the other video i'm not very good at running um that's not even the point, though. The main point is to be able to find the checklist. I didn't even run through the forest. I mean, I wasn't going to kill myself, you know? Um, so I just walked at a brisk pace. Or try to. Um, I did run sometimes, but, you know. So the first control, I don't know. I, I couldn't find it. And then I found the discussion. I kind of, like, asked her for help. Because, you know, like, they know that I don't really know it, the map too well. And that I don't really know what I'm doing. So they know that, like, when they see me to stop and help me. <laughs> Um, so she's like, oh yeah, the first control, like, your, your control, which was like, I don't know, I think it was number, like, 65 or something like that, doesn't matter, uh, is like, you know, behind that hill. So I'm like, oh, okay, so I'm behind the hill, and it wasn't there, so I just kind of, you know, was walking around, kind of waiting, like, okay, and then, um, a lot of people kept asking me, like, do you know where we are, do you know where we are, and I'm like, no, I don't know, <laughs> or like, do you know where this control is, and then one girl asked me where um, if I was looking for 78, and like, no, I wasn't, I'm not looking for 78, um, she said in English, though, because, uh, she was from, like, Poland or something, maybe Germany, I don't really know, but, um, she came to the race, and obviously, you know, we don't speak German, so, <laughs> so, if, you know, if someone sees that you're not from, um, Slovakia, then they just speak in English, too, um, <clears throat> Like, she could see that I was from Slovakia, but she wasn't, so, anyways, um, so 78 was my sixth control, so I found it, I don't know how, because I wasn't looking for it, but I was just kind of looking around at the numbers, and I found 78, and I'm like, oh, well, 78 was, my sixth control was really close to my first control, it was, there was, like, this much distance apart, which, not literally, like, on the map, so that's, like, um, probably, like, 200 meters or something, not a lot, <clears throat> And there was, like, a little path connect connecting them, too. And I was like, oh, well, not completely, but, you know, about I could follow the path. And I was like, oh, awesome. So I was, like, I wasn't giving up hope. I'm like, I'll find this. So I found the first control, and I went on my second control, and I couldn't find it. I found my second control is number 52, and I found number 50. And usually they put the numbers close to each other. So I was like, okay, I'll just keep looking around. And then what happened is after 52, I fell I don't know, because it was, I mean, you guys, it was pouring the whole time, and the 
in the very beginning, um, just to begin with, the terrain there in Slovensky Riot is really hard. Um, even the people who don't like run orienteering, when I told them where the race was, they were like, oh, that must have been fun to run through, because there's a lot of, um, I don't know what it's called in English, in Slovak it's, um, Zart, but, um, basically it's where, like, there's, like, a lot of, like, um, like, there's, it's not really hills, but it's just, it looks like a, kind of like a cliff, and it's just, like, really downhill, and it's just really slippery, and because it, because the land kind of goes like this in some places. That's probably not going to make any sense. But anyways, it's a really tough terrain. And the, the ground was horrible because there was a lot of husniki, which a husnik is where the, the, um, not the buras, sorry, not the black, the greenery and, like, the plants there, it's really, really thick. Like, you can't walk through it. You have to go around it. And, um, there's prhlava there, which I don't even think they have prhlava here in um, America or in Canada, but um, I don't know what it is, it's like it's this plant and it um, it's, it kind of stings you, like when you walk past it you get like a, like a red rash and it really really itches and stings, but it's like um, it has like medicinal purposes or something, but medical purposes, and it's like healthy and stuff, but you know it really hurts if you walk past it, and anyway so I, so the ground was like basically all mud, Mess. So I fell and I hit my head. <laughs> of course, I would do this, you know. But I didn't even really care. I was just kind of so t like I was just, I was just kind of like oh my god, like I'm giving up hope. Everyone's gonna hate me when I get back because I didn't find the control. That's all I could think about. So I fell and I hit my head here and then I scraped my forehead. You probably can't see it anymore. If I come close, you can see there's still kind of like a tiny little scar there, but I scraped it and it was like, it was like bleeding, not a lot, but it was, and my cheek too and my hand, so I fell on like my left side and I was like completely covered in blood, and I threw up after that, which I guess I kind of had a small concussion, which I didn't think had hit my head that hard, but I, like my stomach hurt before because I was so nervous, like I, I just worked myself up because I was so nervous for this race because I'm like, I'm going to get lost and everyone's going to hate me. <laughs> I mean, not for getting lost for because you know after you get lost I would I would have given up and went back and then everyone would have kind of just been mad but um yeah <laughs> so I fell and then I threw up and then I'm like you know what I'm just gonna go back to the finish because I don't know how like like I still have like seven other controls to find I've been here for probably two hours when most people finish the race in like half an hour and 30 to 80 minutes I think the limit was like 90 minutes anyway oh no 120 minutes for this race um so yeah I'm, I was like I'm just gonna go back and then um completely like by accident I found my second control and yeah I'm gonna have to stop this video now I'm gonna have to make a part four that's kind of bad oh well <laughs> my god